Hey guys, good morning. How's everybody doing? Um, I did want to make a really quick video just because I got a request um, to run a quick TA on Tesla. Um, so let's get started. I mean, if you guys have, like, again, if you guys, please give, be sure to give me a like and subscribe and comment uh, what kind of tickers you guys would want me to do as far as, um, you know, stocks, crypto, anything. Uh, drop it as a comment below and I'll do some TA on it. Um, as of right now, um, I do think that Tesla's probably going to go and fill this gap at 120. It's probably hitting in that direction. I mean, you close that four hour, eight hour. And even on the daily, you're still pretty bullish. And I, if you guys saw the last video that I made on Tesla, I basically said, I mean, I basically said that I was longing everything here at, on Tesla, like 101, 102, and that's exactly what happened. I actually longed this on Forex, as well that, as well as a couple of my Patreon members, they longed this as well. I think we're gonna keep pushing up. You might see some resistance here at probably like 117 or so. I think 117 is probably gonna be major resistance. If you actually feel the gap up here at 120, you're probably gonna wick up here, maybe come back down depending on how strong Tesla actually is at, at this level. Um, but on this daily trigger, again, you've really been trading sideways down here. So there's a very good likelihood that you either gonna get rejected um, off of this major uh, daily candle, right? This major daily candle trend here, or here. So 117, 119, expect a lot of resistance there. If both these trends actually break to the upside and you're trading at like 126, anything 126, anything like 123, 122, 126, anything in this range, you're looking at a really good chance of, of Tesla possibly running back to 170. Um, if we break out of this trend here, this channel, I'd definitely look at longing all of this area because it, it's eventually gonna go back to 170. Um, and, and probably gonna fill a bunch of gaps and stuff. And again, Tesla is looking like it's gonna run, um, it's gonna close possibly a bullish week, this upcoming week or the week after, and that also depends on CPI. If CPI is really, really good, expect the whole market to rally super hard. And again, you have a really good um, you know, two week move right here on, on Tesla from these lows of what, 160, like 160, like 167, all the way up to 198. So what? That's like a 30 dollar point move. And again, that's after uh, you close um, that bull week, right? So you usually go on a two week uh, bullish run. And again, if we're looking at lows, we can probably say that we have a low here at 113. So a 30 dollar move from here would bring us to what, like 143. So I mean, I would not be surprised to see us in the next month or so Tesla back at like one. 43 150 or so in the next uh you know in the next within the next month or so i think so um but again it usually when it closes a bullish week it does extremely well again you would have taken this trade at 300 written this all the way up to 384 which would have been pretty crazy again entry would have been here at 245 you would have written this all the way up to possibly like 312 or so and again only really on this downtrend have you only run two two weeks so again I, I do think for the most part i am pretty bullish on tesla right now i would definitely be interested in picking up shares all this area so from 91 to 126 that's going to be your major major trend point um your major channel right so all this area i'm 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 actually not picking up shares i'm actually picking up in the money calls and i'm holding it for about two years or so so i'm personally picking up calls here and then waiting it out for two years and you know, I, I think Tesla is gonna do really, really well in the longer term for now. Um, I do expect that short term to possibly rally back to 126. You know, again, major, major resistance at 117, possibly like 120-ish. But if you do break these levels, like I said, you're probably gonna end up doing something like this, right? So if these levels get broken, you're running 126 like that, possibly come back down to like here, maybe here, and then push back up, right? That's what I think. But if you do actually getting some, if you, if you actually do break these trends, or actually don't break these, right? Then more than likely you're gonna come back up to like down here where it's uh, the bottom part of this uh, of this channel right here, right? Like right, let me see if I can go a little bit deep, like like there, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if, if you don't break any of these trends, you're probably gonna come down all the way back to like 94, possibly come back to 91. Um, and then you, there's a really good chance if you don't break these trends that you actually go all the way back down to 63, right? Not soon, but again, you're really just trading on range. Um, even right now, I'd say your low range is probably 104. High range is like 115 or so. Um, but overall, Tesla does look like it's going to break this trend up here. So I would, I actually wouldn't take, I actually wouldn't touch Tesla right now. 
um you know i want to see what happens I, I, I would wait to short it at this trend or wait to short it at 126 but i think you know i already took this long at like 101 102 right so I, i'm already out of this position but if this keeps pushing up to this trend here i would probably short it or add some shorts here to see what happens if it pushes to 126 i'd probably add more more martingale shorts and then from here i do expect some sort of retracement back down to like 115 or so but again I definitely do think this is going to keep pushing to the upside, but expect a lot of resistance on these trends and at that 126 weekly resistance price. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.